Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to share with you how to use and enable advanced DualSense features like adaptive triggers and haptic feedback in Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. So this is exactly what you've been looking for and you're also interested to find out how these features actually work. Let's begin. So first of all, you have connected your controller wirelessly and it doesn't seem to work as you can find out like I'm shooting but it's just simple shooting and it's not a, a way how adaptive triggers work it's, it's just not so the first thing you should do is to enable is to just connect your uh, controller to your computer through the USB cable so Let's do this. Here we go. We can see the controller is connected now. And right. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh now it's connected. So now we can try do it again and i hope it's visible but yeah i i definitely feel it and i hope you can hear it too oh i'm out of ammo oh no it's weapon jammed so again, I'm shooting and it works perfectly. And also if I switch another to another weapon, like a, just a simple gun, it also works, but in a different way. And a haptic feedback also works in this scenario, but I cannot uh, like show you how it works because it just uh, translates onto your body and so yeah. But when you, for example, hit this button, you can feel it. And also you can feel haptic feedback when you hit the run button. So when you simply run, it does, oh, oh my God, <laughs> what have I done? If you simply run, it doesn't work. But if you hit on this button and run, you can definitely feel it or not, I cannot run right now. Oh yeah, now you, I feel it. So yeah, this is, I hope now you know how it works and uh, what to do if adaptive triggers and uh, how to feedback doesn't work on your computer with your DualSense controller. And if this still doesn't work you need to make sure that you have an RTX graphics card card because if you have a graphics card that isn't an RTX it doesn't it's not gonna work either and also just in case you are launching Metro Exodus not enhanced edition this might be another problem so I hope this video was helpful and now you know how to do this so thanks for watching and have a great day Goodbye.